What is bid shopping and bid peddling? Hi guys, my name is Chris Conkle. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you master construction so you can be industry leaders. Today we're talking about bid shopping and bid peddling, a practice that it is so widely condemned, but is still very common. But it's still a very common practice. The traditional bid system in construction is supposed to be a sacred thing where contractors submit prices to, to the owners in hopes that those prices are going to be secretly kept and kept in secret and not shared with other contractors. In the case of bid shopping, what happens is owner awards a contract to a general contractor who submitted a bid and the general contractor takes that as an opportunity to make more money and shop the prices of, of the subcontractors. Bid peddling is just the opposite. Bid peddling is when a subcontractor tells a general contractor that they will give them a lower price than the subcontractor that they carried during the, when in their bid submission. The side effects of bid shopping and bid peddling are, for one, it defeats the purpose of the competitive bid system. It promotes lower quality work. You're incentivizing cutting corners and you're going to see more claims and change orders. You can see delays in the project completion and it overall worsens the business environment. The results of a recent survey, 80% of respondents said that they knew somebody who was involved in bid shopping or bid peddling and a whopping 32% of respondents admitted to doing it. It is extremely frustrating as an estimator when you submit a bid and you're promised to be carried by a general contractor and right after a word you find out that you did not get the job or they didn't carry you. How do you know? How do you exactly know? You're gonna call the owner and ask him for the bid? The bid process is supposed to be sacred. An owner has an idea and needs a building built. So the owner hires a designer and the designer puts together the contract documents, the bid package, right? The drawings and specifications. General contractors seek numbers from subcontractors outside of their own scope of work and suppliers to put together the best possible number for like, to make a little bit of money and stay in business and get the job completed as per drawings and specifications. I myself personally cannot understand how any owner or general contractor could accept a bid based on the lowest price and that's it. Um, especially when the price is like $200,000 or, or more different. The idea of having drawings and specifications and a bid package is that all the contractors should be in the same ballpark and bid as per those drawings and specifications. So what happens when some guy comes in at a low ball number? Well, they either forgot something or they're planning on substituting something out of those drawings and specifications without the owner knowing, right? So right away, red flags have to be raised when a subcontractor submits a bid and even when a general contractor submits a bid to the owners or the designers and it's extremely low. It's a much lower than the other contractors. There's obviously something has been missed or they're planning to, to get you on claims and change orders in the end by delaying the project and uh, putting forth more changes and claims. Picking the lowest bidder is not always the best way to go. I believe during a bid time, a good estimator has to be in close contact with the designers and the general contractors as a subcontractor, as a general contractor contractor, same thing. It has to be in close contact with the designers and engineers so they know exactly what they're bidding. And then the people who are accepting the bids know who, it, who understands the scope of work and who doesn't. The best way to fight bid shopping and bid peddling is to one, not do it. And two, is for owners to put a clause in their contracts for general contractors to name all of the subcontractors that they, the, of the numbers they carry at bid time. And if any substitution is is made that it, that has to a request has to be put in uh, with the owner and the designers and it has to have good reason or that subcontractor's consent. Even though it is widely condemned, the practices remain quite common and legal. So let me leave it with you. Let me ask you the question: Do you think that bid shopping or bid peddling should be illegal? Do you think that is unethical or do you think that it's just business? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you think that hard, that hardworking companies, the companies that put the time into bidding as per drawings and specifications should be penalized like this? Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you're new here at Chris Funko Vlogs, make sure you subscribe right down below. And YouTube thinks you might like this video here in the top. I uh, put another playlist down below for you. This is Chris, everyone. Bye for now.